Hey guys, Moan Pobera here, and in this video you're going to see why perception is reality. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Moan Pobera, and this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses, and how to ideally make sure someone is operating the day-to-day -day for you. Most people out there talk about starting a business. I'm here to tell you that it will cost you probably the same amount of money to buy an existing profitable business as it to start a new one and that's what the biggest companies out there are doing to grow their existing businesses that's why companies like facebook buy by companies like whatsapp and this is what we're talking about in this channel obviously in a for for much lower uh, smaller businesses so yeah this video is all about why perception is reality and i think the first time i heard it is obviously probably from one of my mentors dan Pena, and i want to expand on on this topic so to begin with the best way to i guess build your perception is to surround yourself with people you want to be like because just think about it if you want to become something and you're going to be day to day next to someone who's already there i mean you're gonna take their habits take their their basically behaviors and ideally just the fact that you surround yourself with the right people it's going to open so many doors for you that you couldn't open otherwise now if you start to put yourself out there in front of people you want to be like you want to look as professional as possible from the from the first go basically you want to look as successful as possible even if you're not successful yet and many times it's literally just about getting the vibe of those people you want to surround yourself with and what you're doing right now with watching videos like this is almost as good as being in person next to those people who are doing what you're doing because you're getting their vibe you're getting their no excuse attitude and over time you're also going to get their day-to-day -day habits as part of your life and i really really believe about the fact that you really gotta feel your way to success you gotta feel as you're already successful and literally just practice that go out there and have a few minutes with yourself sit with yourself close your eyes and really start to imagine yourself as the person you want to be like and you'll see over time your subconscious will literally find you things out there that basically match your subconscious they say that uh, i think 90 percent of our of our life is basically run by our subconscious so you need to do whatever you can day to day in order to basically position your subconscious to become the person you want to be you see what i'm saying and i'm sure you can agree with me with that uh, on that and i think another really key thing is whenever you position yourself as, as someone who want to do something if you're watching this video then as someone who's an investor is looking to buy businesses you always want to be treated as like i said before as professional and i think dan is saying that there's no part-time uh high quote basically no part-time uh high performance people which i tend to agree i think it's more about the quality of time you're putting into things because i know people who say they're doing things full-time but they're actually maybe productive two hours a day or three and question yourself how many hours you're actually productive each day I think it's really, really hard to get to a point where you really focused and productive on tasks for more than five, six hours a day. Really, really difficult. And I'm talking even the highest performance that I met in, in real life. I think it comes down to really finding the key important things and really focused on them when you're working. And when you position yourself as someone who's doing these things, like I said, there's no part-time thing. So even if you have a full-time job at the moment, you need to work your ass off after that job to show that you're serious about this. I mean, yes, there are people who are trying to do it part-time and I think you can definitely buy a business part-time if you're putting focused hours every day. But when you put yourself out there in front of uh, business owners or brokers, you want to be looked as someone who's professional, who's doing it for a living day to day. You need to understand that this word of buying businesses of M&A, mergers and acquisitions, it's a brutal word. The richest people in the world are doing this. They're buying and selling businesses. And if you want to be part of this space, you got to become uh, like literally a shark in this space. And even if you're doing things part time and you can't put yourself too much out there, you got to find, the, I guess, the, the good stuff in that because sometimes when you work part time, you can position yourself in front of business owners, someone who's basically doing the transition right now so you have an existing job and just, just say, literally just say that i have an existing job and i'm looking to buy our business to transition to the space of business owners and, and many times it can actually be to your to your benefits because you're going to be uh, positioned as the tr trust uh, a safe pair of hand basically as someone who's going to be fully committed to the business you're going to buy 
Now remember, when you want to basically position yourself and be around those people who you want to be like and build your perception, remember you're asking from those people for their biggest, basically the, the most important thing in their life. You're asking for their time. There's nothing more important in this life than time. You can always get more money, but you can never get your time back. So you need to really find a way to position yourself in a way that is adding value to that person. I mean, think about it. Even in like when you watch TV shows like Shark Tank and you see investors putting money into those deals to get equity, those investors are not as involved in the day to day as you think. Sometimes they have maybe a one, one hour month monthly call with those business owners. Now, the question you need to ask yourself is, do you think that one hour a month would, first of all, be worth, uh, I guess, their time and, and your value that you're getting? So, for example, let's say you're going to talk one hour a month with someone who's doing businesses, buying businesses, all that stuff that you want to do. You need to really ask yourself if you can learn all those things on how to buy businesses within one hour a month. And many times for most people who watch this channel, it's not enough because most of you guys who talk to me or message me, they, you, you don't know even what's a balance sheet or how to read financial reports. Some of you guys are amazing and you already did deals. So obviously that's a different scenario there and all you need is maybe one hour a month with someone in this space who will open a few doors for you and sometimes that's worth uh, everything and that's all you need. But for some of you guys who are just starting this space, who literally don't know much about business. And even if you run an existing business doing seven figure or more, I can tell you as someone who had seven figure businesses before I came into this place, into this space full time, uh, it, it means nothing. Like the fact that you have an existing business, even if it's successful, it means nothing in this space of buying businesses because, because there are so many different skill sets that you need to learn. So you really need to be surrounded with someone who can help you day to day with those things because Otherwise, literally in this space, every mistake can cost you so much, can just cost you a small fortune. And you need to ask yourself if it's worth um, spending that small fortune um, in order to basically cut your learning curve. Now, when you look to position yourself or put yourself out there around people to do deals, the fact that they did deals in the past sometimes isn't enough, isn't enough if they're not working on deals right now because the information and context they have maybe is outdated right now. Even if the principles and system is the same, I mean, they're, they're missing so much info that is updated right now to, to this year, to this month. And the context, like for example, with financial institutions, even if they raised capital many, many years ago, when you're going to work with financial institutions, they're changing their, their basically their people in there almost on a consistent basis. Like I'm in this space for a pretty short time and I talk to a few people in few of the institutions we're talking to, I talk to a few different people already in just that one institution. They're changing all the time and someone who was able to open doors for you a few years ago, maybe now he can't because he's not doing deals on a day-to-day -day basis. Now for those who do deals on a regular basis, it's going to be really, really hard to be around them. I mean, if they're doing deals day-to-day, -day, they don't need you if you don't have any experience or you don't know anything in business. The only reason we do sometimes basically become partners of some of the people who message me and literally share equity with them and teach them everything we know is because we hate employees. I don't want to have any employees. I don't want to build this huge company with tons of employees I need to manage day to day. I really don't give a shit about that and I, I just don't want to be involved with that. That's why sometimes having people around there looking for deals for us after we train them is worth and it's win-win for everyone. So we teach you guys what to do A to Z and you basically come with those lessons and the exact criteria for deals that we want and then you bring them to us. So basically we save an employee, we help you guys and learn this space and we, we have a win because we can do those deals with you as partners. And you know, for all of the reasons that I talked about, that's why most of the people that I went with to the Castle Seminar, they, they never built any dream team. They never did any deal. Yes, they took great information. They, they can, I guess, uh, think of themselves as more smart, but you can't really do anything with, like, like uh, uh, the fact that you read many, many books or went to many, many seminars means shit in this world. No one gives a shit about how many seminars you went to. Going to a seminar won't fill your bank account. You gotta take action, You're, uh, you gotta surround yourself with people who are doing those things that you wanna do on a regular basis, on a day-to-day -day basis, otherwise, I don't care what seminar you're going to or what course you're taking to, if you're not implementing and executing 
and really doing the work, that means shit, you're, going, you're not going to have any transformation. And even if you find yourself someone in your dream team, you find yourself a chairman or an accountant or lawyer, I, I hate to see people who treat that as success. That means shit, guys. Even if you have a chairman, you have a partner, you have a, a, a CFO, you have accountants and lawyers, I don't care if all of them are on success fees. The, the, the moment you have a dream team to the moment you do a deal, there's lots of things to go through by basically from the moment you have a dream team to actually closing the deal. There's so many things you need to do in the middle and so many mistakes you can go through and, and do if you don't have the right, uh, I guess, system in place and the right execution plan. That's why I'm saying information means shit, guys. You can find everything online nowadays. Literally every question you have, just Google that and you can find the information. The only question is if you have the accountability around you as support teams around you and the people who can open doors for you to save you a lot of time. That's what's most important in this space and obviously accountability to do all those things and actually take action and achieve results. So remember, perception is reality. Yes, I know I drifted a little bit and talked about different things that just annoyed me to see, to see people who are, who are celebrating the fact that they're, they built a dream team. It means shit, guys, until you do a deal. And even if you do deals, People think that, okay, you did one deal, you're already rich. You need to know what to do with those businesses. You buy them, what's now? What do you do in order to make sure you're actually growing those businesses and making money out of them? Because people don't understand in this space of leverage buyouts, you need to loan a lot of money to, in order to buy a business. And it's going to take you some time before you're actually going to have enough profitability and margins to take money home. I don't care what business you're buying, you're going to have a lot of debt in the business. So in order for you to take money out of those businesses, there's still a lot of work to do after you've done the acquisition. So don't see the fact that you have a dream team and accountants and lawyers uh, as a success. That means shit. More information means shit. Yes, you need to surround yourself with the right people, the right accountability systems, the right process in general. And when you have that, you'll be successful. Remember that the, the people you surround yourself with is who you become. And it's it's combination of obviously I, I do believe it's a combination. Who you become is a combination of the books and seminars and all that stuff that you you read and watch, and the people you're gonna surround yourself with. So really make sure you're focused on who you want to surround yourself with and listen to. And remember that until you're actually executing, it means shit, guys. You're not getting any results. And yeah, being more smart. I mean, it's cool. It's awesome to have a lot of knowledge in your head. But nowadays, it means nothing. Everyone can go in and search in Google whatever he wants and, and he can basically have the same answers. You want results, guys. If you're watching those videos, you're watching my channel, I want you to be focused on results, on actually buying businesses, growing businesses and taking money out of those businesses. Even if you buy businesses, remember, that doesn't mean shit. You need to know how to grow those businesses, how to turn them around many times in order to actually get results and get income to your bank account. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Like this video, tell me if you like it, hate it, like it, do whatever, comment below, let me know what do you think, how do you go on, what you're going to do in order to make sure you have a different perception in your life and in order to make sure people are gonna treat you different. Because remember, no one, if you have no track record, no broker, no business owner will treat you seriously. So you gotta have that team around you. So yeah, subscribe if you didn't yet, um, share with your friends, and see in the description below, there's tons of links there to our free business buying mastermind. It's a group we opened on Facebook. So join, there's amazing people out there. Some of the people in the group are people who bought many, many businesses already. And this is a great place for you to start surrounding yourself with the right people. Also, in the description below, there's a link to fill a survey where you can send me your biggest questions and I'll try to create personalized videos for you. So do that as well. And for those of you who message me or ask how they can work with me, there are details below on how to schedule one-on-one -on -one calls with me. I do maybe two or three calls like this a week, uh, literally as a way to help you guys as a pro bono kind of thing. And you'll have the opportunity to then potentially partner with me and my team, team who did more than 300 deals total. Um, so it's definitely can cut your learning curve if you want. Uh, see the description below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.